Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two in the review on the Radio Oddity Bofeng RD5R. If you've not seen part one of this, the link is in the description and at the end of this video, it's a new or quite a new DMR radio that's been made in conjunction with Bofeng and Radio Oddity. And they kindly sent it to me to review and give my honest opinion on it. And from what I can see so far, um, which you'll see in part one, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's a massive step up from the Bofeng UV5R and a big redemption on the DM5R, which was a disaster. Um, for those who haven't seen part one, this is basically a tier one and tier two DMR radio. So it, put, it supports both time slots, which is the major difference between this and the DM5R. So it works like any other DMR radio, such as the um, TYT MD380. The big advantage of this is that it's dual band, which is brilliant. So as you can see, it takes on the same form factor as the Bofeng UV5R, but inside it's a very, very different radio as you'll see in part one. So the plan for part two today is to do some DMR simplex range testing on this. And this is gonna happen in the form of a 20 mile simplex test on the DMR simplex channels on UHF uh, with a friend of mine who lives across in another county, 20 miles away and we're going to see how it performs. We're going to be comparing it to the TYT MD380 to see if there's any difference between the two on both signal quality and audio quality um, and hopefully it should should make the trip. I'm expecting it to um, so yeah we'll soon see. So the place I'm going to test is some high ground which I usually go to called Werneth Low and it's got a great lookout over um, Greater Manchester. My friend is actually on the other side of the hills across in southern Lancashire. So it's quite a strenuous test for a radio like this and a radio like this really, um, but I'm just hoping it'll work. What we'll also do is do some audio quality tests. So I'm gonna record the raw audio into my AOR DV1 scanner and see what the audio quality sounds like on this radio compared to this radio, see if there's any difference. So it should be quite a decent test. So I'm going to head up to the high ground now and we'll get started. Mike Zero, Lima Echo X-Ray, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, you receiving Royden? Uh, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, Royden, 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 Yep, no problem. So I'm on the uh, TYT um, Mike Delta 380 at the moment, which is the UHF DMR radio. I think you've got one yourself, haven't you? You talking? I think you're talking to me right now, aren't you? Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the radio I'm on at the moment. I'll uh, just give you a bit of audio on here for the video your side, and then I'll switch over to the um, the uh, Bofeng RD5R. So how's the audio sounding on the MD380 Royden? Back to you. Yeah, just typical. Uh... MD380 audio, pretty clear, uh, quite bassy, uh, fully audible, no problems at all. Uh, looking at the signal meter, you're probably around an S9, so uh, yeah, you're doing pretty well from uh, awareness uh, this afternoon, Lewis. MD3HY uh, with Mike Zero, we record X ray back to you. Yep, cheers, you're coming in uh, really well this side as uh, as well. So I'm going to switch over to the RD5R now, Royden, and we'll do the same test again. Just uh, stand by, M3HHY Mobile. Yeah, no, we're standing by. Mike Zero, Lima X-Ray. Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Are you receiving, Royden? Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Uh, good afternoon, Lewis, from Mike Zero, Lima Echo X-Ray. Yeah, receiving you. Absolutely no problems at all. No break-up. Really clear audio, Raj. Yeah, no problems. I'm on the uh, TYT um, Mike Delta 380 at the moment, which is the UHF DMR radio. You've got one yourself, haven't you? You're talking, I think you're talking to me right now, aren't you? Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the radio I'm on at the moment. I'll uh, just give you a bit of audio on here for the video your side, and then I'll switch over to the... Um, the uh, Bofeng RD5R, so how's the audio sounding on the MD380 Royden? That's you. Yeah, just typical uh, MD380 audio, pretty clear, uh, quite bassy, uh, fully audible, no problems at all. Uh, looking at the signal meter, you're probably around an S9, so uh, yeah, you're doing pretty well from uh, Werneth uh, this afternoon, Lewis. M3HHY uh, with Mike Zero, Lima Echo X-Ray, back to you. 
Yeah, Jersey coming in uh, really well. The side was uh, as well. So I'm going to switch over to the RD5R now. We'll be in the same test again. Just uh, stand by. M3HH1 mobile. Yeah, no, we're standing by. Okay, Mike Zero, Lima Quick Mike Three Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile on the RD5R. You receive Royden. Yeah, Mike Zero, Lima Quick Three. Yeah, returning with M3HH1 mobile. Yeah, Mike Zero, Lima that's a really good audio as well, super audio, no problems at all, fully readable, fully audible, and uh, same signal, over. Yeah, no problem, that's good to hear. You're coming in crystal clear on this, this radio as well. It's modulating the DMR signal um, really well, just as well as the MD380, to be honest. Um, what, which audio would you say was best? Um, give us a bit more on the uh, the qualities of the audio, as in punchiness, bassiness, anything like that you've got to add, uh, Roy, no worries if not. Back to you. Yeah, just had another call on, I mean on uh, an S20, but I got the, uh, I got the, the gist of what you're asking. Uh, they're both pretty good. Uh, we say the TYT's a little bit woolly, a little bit bassy. Uh, the Bella thing seems a little bit clearer. I mean, there's not much in it, but I would go with the, uh, I'd go with the radio we want now, audio-wise, but again, it's personal preference, isn't it? But, uh, I, I sort of do clear the audio on the radio you're on at the moment from M0 LEX. Yeah, no problem. So just hope it comes across on the uh, on the video. It's hard to gauge audio, isn't it, when it comes to on a video? But I would say I would say the audio on receive on this side between the two radios is clearer on the RD5R than the MD380. I think it's a bit more bassy on the MD380, and I think it distorts it slightly. But yeah, it's down to opinion, isn't it? But Okay, Royden. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it's working okay. It's Twenty miles, um, bang on line of sight from where you are to I am, which is brilliant for a simplex con conversation. So, thanks for the test, and we'll catch you further down. Seven three for now. M three H H Y mobile. M three H H Y mobile. M zero L E X returning. Yeah, no problems at all. Let's cheers for that. Hope the recording goes well. I'll bid you seven threes and speak to you soon. For Mike Zero, Lean Record X right now, please. Yep, 7-3 road and catch you in a bit. Okay, Mike Zero, Lima Flex 3, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, on the RD5R, you receive Roden. Yep, Mike Zero Lean Record X Ray, yeah, returning with M3HHY Mobile. Yep, you're fine, mate. That's a really good audio as well. Super audio, no problems at all. Fully readable, fully audible. And uh, same signal over. Yeah, no problem, that's good to hear you coming in crystal clear on this, this radio as well. It's modulating the DMR signal um, really well, just as well as the MD380, to be honest. Um, what, which audio would you say was best? Um, give us a bit more on the uh, the qualities of the audio. I think punching the best. Back to you. Yeah, just had a, another call then coming on uh, an S20, but I got the uh, I got the, the gist of what you're asking. Uh, they're both pretty good. Uh, we say the TYT is a little bit woolly, a little bit bassy. Uh, the Boafeng seems a little bit clearer. I mean, there's not much in it, but I would go with the uh, I'd go with the radio you're on now, audio wise. But again, it's personal preference, isn't it? But uh, I. I I sort of do prefer the audio on the radio you're on at the moment from M0 LEX. Yeah, no problem. Just hope it comes across on the uh, on the video. It's hard to gauge audio, isn't it, when it comes to on the video? But I would say I would say the audio on receive on this side between the two radios is clearer on the RD5R than the MD380. I think basically on the MD380, and I think it distorts it slightly. Sounds opinion, isn't it? But Okay, Roy. Well, well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it's working. Okay, 20 miles, um, bang on line of sight from where you are to I am, which is brilliant for simplex con conversation. So, thanks for the test, and we'll catch you further down. Seven three for now. M three H H Y mobile. Yeah, M three H H Y mobile. M zero L E X returning. Yep, yeah, no problems at all, Lewis. Cheers for that. Hope the recording goes well. I'll bid you seven threes and speak to you soon. For Mike Zero Lean Reco X Ray now clear. Yep, 7-3, Okay, guys, so as you can see, both radios performed really, really well. Um, I'm really impressed with both. Uh, the video from um, our friend's end, you can see, is is really, really good. Both radios, I think, perform the same. There are differences in the audio quality. I prefer this 
although the MD380 is, is really, really good, and it's just down to taste. There's no right or wrong when it comes to audio quality, really. Plus, you're hearing it through your speakers on your phone, your laptop, your desktop computer, your television, so it's always going to sound slightly different. But I think, for me, the DM5R just has the edge on the audio quality, um, and Royden um, seemed to agree with that. So what we'll do now is we're going to have a listen to the audio quality uh, in RAW out of the scanner and see if there is actually any difference between the two. This is an audio test of the TYT MD380. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. An audio test of the TYT MD380. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over. This is an audio test of the Bofeng RD5R. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 54321, an audio test of the Bofeng RD5R. 1234554321. Okay guys, so that concludes part two on the DMR testing. I will be doing an analog range test with this um, in the near future, so stay tuned for that and we're gonna look at some other bits and pieces around this radio. But yeah, I, I think it's a great radio from, from Bofeng. Definitely a tick in the box. Uh, compared to what they've previous re previously um, come out with. If you're interested in this radio, there is a purchase link in the description from Radio Oddity. Um, I don't gain any commission from that. Um, all, all I'm doing is just reviewing this radio for them. So um, you know, feel free to check that link out. The full specs are on their website. The programming software for you to develop your own code plug is also in the description. And I'll say 7-3 for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button if you want to leave any suggestions comments questions feedback then feel free to do so in the box below and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe we'll catch you in the next one cheers for watching